Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner have given us the exact way to pose to get that perfect Instagram. Well, thank goodness, but I'm more excited about the Capri Sun version of Rosé called Electric Rosé. I'm obsessed. And we have the hottest throwback collection that you are literally going to die over. <laughs> Can't you tell? We're already dying over it here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the weekend, guys. It's Holly Scoop's Trending Topics. <laughs> Happy Sunday, guys! Welcome back to Holly Scoop. You're watching Trending Topics with Heather Gardner. And I'm Madison Oak. Okay. The Instagram struggle <laughs> is so real, and I just it's have to have that real, sigh. yes. Because it seems so exhausting to get that perfect it is. Insta feed. It and of is. course, Kylie and Selena have got it figured out. Absolutely. But now there's this new trend to get that Kylie kind of Selena esque look, <laughs> and it's called plant planted. The planted. The planted. Yes. So, like a candid, that was planned, get it? Planned, candid, planned it. So I guess it makes me feel better that there is a, method? I guess, method to the Instagram <laughs> madness, that it's not just completely like effortless, just, oh, here's my perfect selfie. Like, there's a formula, I guess, now that we should be following. I guess, it's like, <laughs> it's like that I don't pose know. where you're kind of like looking away. Which I and always like, it's say like, is so awkward to try and do. Someone just literally like, f like you know, because they have people who follow them around. Right. Someone just literally just like snaps a photo of you and it's perfect, but they actually like planned it that way. Yeah. And you're right, it is completely awkward. Like, I've tried to do it. <laughs> Heather knows because she has to take pictures of me almost every day. And I look, so, I'm always like, and if you go to my Instagram, I'm always like, because <laughs> I'm so awkward trying to be like Selena and Kylie and get my perfect plan did, it just never works out for me. No, but there are, there's two different types. Like I would say that Kylie and Selena definitely are the like, look away, yes. candid kind of moments. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, oh yes, I do look fabulous posing just like oh, this. Oh, I'm just I'm hiking Instagram. and I'm just, I'm just so fabulous like this. <laughs> no, but then there are the other ones. Like I feel like Kendall, Dove Cameron, and Bella mm -hmm. Hadid, they have the more like posing photos. Yes. Like, oh, I would agree I with that. I am in a selfie. Here I am like, you know, in some cute photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like Kylie and Selena are not so much that they're always. Right, especially Kylie, I feel like goes for more of like the, the sexed. I just made up sexed? anything. Sexed? That's a sexy, candid, planned it. So, new trend for next Mind week. Mind boggling <laughs> over here. You're blowing my mind. All right, but either way, uh, the Insta struggle is real. Yes. And Kylie and Selena so have So I guess I'm just going to try and work on my planned it. Like the planned it. I feel like all you have to do is just like turn away from the camera. I'm so awkward. You know this. That's true. You know this. I, I think, need to go study. I think even worse, like more awkward than the planned it is the fake laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So awkward in general. It is. Anyway, oh. also awkward um, bringing a bottle of wine anywhere. Yes. Because I'm sorry. Then but you just look like an alcoholic. Wine is <laughs> not accessible <laughs> until now, and this is this is definitely a trend that you and I have to get on oh. immediately. Um, I've been stalking the website on how to figure out how I can order this because it is not available in California right now. So panic. But um, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I was just looking through things on Instagram, and we saw this electric rosé, and it's basically like Capri Sun, like but instead what? of Capri Sun, it is rosé. I have some feelings on this because we also had rosé in a can that you yes. can get now too. Yes. And you know, we've but talked a about pouch is so much cuter. We've talked about before like now there's bracelets where you can see yeah. alcohol and in purses. And, now, and we've always we've had the the fake like tampons mm -hmm. that people can sneak, you know, things into concerts and stuff. And it just always made me think like are we really that big of an alcoholic society <laughs> where we have to like have Obviously. alcohol all the friggin' time? So this I'm thinking about that, like taking it to the beach and stuff. Yeah. Again, it's totally illegal to just walk around with this stuff, and yet it's so cute. But if you have it in a little pouch that looks like a Capri Sun, no one will but know. But no one will notice. But if you're having like a backyard barbecue, you know, Labor Day is coming That's up, true. and everybody's gonna be doing backyard mm -hmm. stuff. That'd be so easy and convenient to just throw it all in there instead of having to get the glasses. Yep. And this is wine that does something good, so mm -hmm. then you can feel even better about your drinking habits because um, <laughs> this electric rosé there with watertowines.org, so part of the proceeds that happens whenever you buy this goes towards providing sustainable water to other parts of the country. I love that. So even so a I can drink my rosé and feel better about myself all at the same time. One more reason to get drunk, guys. 
if you're over 21. Yes. All right, just gotta yes. throw that out there. Yeah. So if you not, can, you can have regular Capri Sun and it's just as delicious. Just as delicious. All right, <laughs> so clearly you guys, we are sporting right now these yes. throwback shirts here. Now, the company Love Tribe sent us these and I'm obsessed because it's oh, all throwback. They're so cute. Like, look how funny this is. It's about not what, mine says, uh, oh well, I guess I'm not wearing <laughs> my pants today. And mine has Chucky from the Rugrats. There's a ton of cute ones. Oh my gosh, I'm what is my- obsessed. There's like a little t-shirt dress. There's a bunch of other fun sayings and it just like, Helps you relive the 90 Nickelodeon days, 90s Nickelodeon days. Because we always days. need to relive 90s. Well, they were the best. And here's the thing. It's it's not just that these are like amazing and like and Nickelodeon. And I just say super comfortable and super soft. But also nostalgia is like so in right now. We, yes. I mean, all the fashion gurus say this. We're not them, but we're going to look. Both them. <laughs> fashion goes through like cycles. Yeah, And absolutely. so, you know, like a few years ago, bell bottoms were huge again. Mm -hmm. And that was like a 70s trend. Chokers. Chokers was a 90s trend. So go and with the 90s thing, we've got these throwbacks, and honestly, it's like the funnest thing ever. So no. I got Chucky, got I have SpongeBob. Bob. They have all that. It's even fun just to like Green go Sticky. back and look, because yeah. even before this, we were talking about, we we're like, okay, so what were your favorite 90s Nickelodeon shows? Talking about that, and then you go through and you see that these shirts have sayings from those shows, and I was just like reliving my it's best funny. life. I like mine. Mine <laughs> says, trust me, I'm a rug rat, and I just love it's it. It's true, okay. it's true. No, you kidding. should. I, are you saying trust me or that I'm, I'm saying a you are rat? a rug? Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> okay. The coolest thing is, guys. Um, Love Tribe. Their motto is all about women. Sorry, guys, but it's like women empowerment, and they just love having a tribe moment. Their yes. motto is: We recognize that our differences make us special, but we are stronger when we stand together as a tribe. Love and that. I love that. I'm I do. Obsessed. Plus, guys. Plus, 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 plus. We are giving away these shirts. Uh, I so here's what you need to do. Comment below and just let us know what your favorite 90s Nickelodeon show was. I did have to get the Rugrats one because mine was Rugrats. What was <laughs> mine yours? wasn't SpongeBob, but I love this saying. <laughs> uh, mine was probably Rugrats I or love Rugrats. I loved Hey Arnold. That was another one mm -hmm. of my favorites. I also really liked Are You Afraid? Ooh. I was always into those spooky clowns. All right, guys. Very. So like I said, we're giving away some shirts down below, and all you have to do is comment and just let us know which so one of these was your favorite. It's so, so easy. easy. And we'll pick a winner next week, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comment not only with your favorite show, but yes. also what you thought about Electric Rosé and these planned Instagram <laughs> photos. Is that what you guys do? Or are you just like straight up selfie? That's let right. us know and make sure you subscribe to our channel. And guys, have a great yes, rest of your weekend. Your we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye.